highlight this report period was the successful flight of the fourth Saturn 1B launch vehicle using the overall flight designation of Apollo 5. The SA-204 launch vehicle had been on the pad at KSC for approximately 18 months. During this time period corrosion and electrical inspections were conducted as well as a complete operational system safety review. The Apollo 5 space vehicle, AS-204 LM-1, was launched on January 22, 1968. Liftoff was scheduled at 1900 GMT with one six-hour built-in hold at T-330 for crew rest and unscheduled work. An unscheduled hold of three hours and 48 minutes duration occurred at T-230 because of two problems. One hour, 28 minutes of this hold was attributed to ground support equipment associated with the spacecraft environmental control system. And the remaining hold period was attributed to failure of a power supply in the digital data acquisition system. Liftoff was at 5.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from Complex 37B. Engineering evaluation of the AS-204 Saturn 1B launch vehicle the final R&D vehicle in the 1B program indicates that all the primary and secondary mission objectives were successfully achieved. This launch vehicle performed closer to nominal than any Saturn vehicle to date. Primary launch vehicle mission objectives were evaluation of the launch vehicle attitude control system and maneuvering capability, Verification of S4B liquid hydrogen and oxygen tank pressurization characteristics. Demonstration of nose cone separation and evaluation of operational adequacy of the launch vehicle systems, including guidance, control, electrical, mechanical, and instrumentation. Minor performance deviations were noted, and action is being taken to prevent these in future vehicles. Because of the combined success of both launch vehicle and lunar module hardware, the backup mission of AS-206 LM-2 has been canceled. All other Saturn 1B stages are on or ahead of schedule. Highlighting the booster stage's activity during this quarter was the static testing of S-1B-11 at MSFC. As a result of combustion stability tests on R&D engines at the Neosho test facility, it had been determined that test facility characteristics could contribute to undamped engine instability. In order to determine the influence of the S-1B stage structure on H-1 engine combustion stability, the Chrysler Corporation was directed in late December to perform engine stability tests on S-1B-11 using R&D engines and bomb-induced instability to determine stage damping characteristics. The first test went for the full 15-second duration, January 25th, using one R&D engine for the test. The peak pulse lasted less than four milliseconds, which was considered satisfactory. Two R&D engines were bombed in the next test on February 6th. Damping characteristics, again, were satisfactory. Testing on February 14th gave essentially the same data. The fourth test was terminated after three seconds due to a failure and fire in the gear case of engine number eight, which was not under bomb testing. This failure was thoroughly investigated by MSFC and the contractors concerned. The cause of the failure was attributed to gross leakage of locks past the lock seal in the H1 engine locks pump. The leakage was attributed to either a broken carbon seal or a failure of the Kellef lip seal during engine start. As a result of the failure, MSFC is planning to test both lip seal and bellows type seals 
in static tests during April. Based on test data from these future tests, determination will be made as to which type seals will be used on 205. Further, as a result of this failure, the decision was made to install temperature measurement instrumentation in the locked seal cavity drain lines. This measurement will be interlocked to launch control to guard against this failure mode. Components of the configuration measurement system will be tested on S1B11 and the full system will be tested on S1B12 and will be installed on AS205. The status of other S1B stages is as follows. S1B5, the first scheduled manned Saturn flight booster, was shipped from Michou on March 25th and arrived at the KSC Saturn dock March 28th. As of the end of the quarter, S1B stages 6, 8, 9, 10, and 12 were in storage at the Michou assembly facility. Modification started in January on S1B7 in preparation for the 206-207 dual launch rendezvous mission, if such a mission is required for the Apollo program. Several components have been removed during the quarter for updating. Electrical power was applied to the stage March 15th. The status of the second or S4B stages of the Saturn 1B as of the end of the quarter is as follows. S4B205 completed post storage tests and checkout during the quarter. Shipment to KSC is presently scheduled for April 7, 1968. S4B stages 206, 207, 208, and 209 are in storage at SACTO. Stages 210 and 211 are in storage at Huntington Beach. S4B-212, presently designated as the stage for use in the orbital workshop mission, was undergoing Apollo modification work during the quarter. The S4B orbital workshop mock-up was shipped to MSFC by a Super Guppy from McDonnell Douglas on January 16, 1968. Extensive crew station and documentation reviews were conducted on the workshop mock-up during this period. Taking part in these reviews were several astronauts. The astronauts were well satisfied with the mock-up, and their participation in the reviews allows incorporation of operational aspects into the design in a timely and efficient manner. Evaluation of data resulting from the review is continuing. At the end of the quarter, approximately 285 engineering drawings of a total of 1,100 have been released for the Orbital Workshop Modification Kit. Workshop modifications are scheduled to start early in the next quarter. Saturn 1B instrument unit status and progress is as follows. SIU-205 has completed modifications and is scheduled for shipment to KSC early in the next quarter. Saturn 1B instrument units numbers 206, 207, 208, 209, and 211 are in storage at IBM's Huntsville facility. IU-210, after a month and a half in temporary storage, re-entered assembly in early February. At the close of the report period, satisfactory progress was being made in assembly operations. Due to the long lead time for IU-212, no activity was scheduled for this period. Progress on storage enclosures for all stages has been very satisfactory during this report period. Initial tests performed at MSFC on the S1B enclosure indicated this type of protection would be satisfactory. Following testing, production of the S1B enclosures was initiated by the Technical Services Office at MSFC. The first production storage enclosure was completed late in the report period. A total of seven S1 enclosures will be produced and shipped to Michou. During this period, a change order was issued to McDonnell Douglas to cover design, fabrication, and installation of protective enclosures for eight S4B second stages. May 31st completion was specified. Meanwhile, IBM has already designed, tested, and initiated procurement of protective storage enclosures for 1B instrument units. The IBM enclosure is a reusable container. 
made of a water vapor barrier, plasticized, non-flammable material. A mechanical compression type closure is used to effect final sealing. To control humidity conditions, the enclosure is purged and desiccants absorb the moisture. The desiccants are replaced every 30 days or as required. Since the IUs are stored in an air conditioned area, no temperature control is required. This container is designed to effectively protect a unit for up to three years. Present plans are that this will last Saturn Wonderly Film Report, future progress reports in Saturn launch vehicle.